What's going on everybody? Kleepus Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a quick comparison between the blue F92 E 5G and the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G. Now as always, if you do end up wanting to learn more about either phone individually, definitely check out the description where I am linking to several other videos about them, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But with that being said, Let's get into it. So with the blue F92 E 5G, we're getting a 6.5 inch IPS LCD display with a 720p resolution, a PPI of 270, and a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. With the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G, we're getting a 6.5 inch 90Hz PLS TFT display with a 720p resolution, a PPI of 270, and a 20 by 9 aspect ratio as well. So in almost every way, these displays are pretty much the same. Same size, same form factor, and they both have 720p resolutions that, despite being 720p resolutions, do still look pretty decent. I mean, maybe not the best looking image in the world, but for being more affordable entry-level phones, they definitely are good. The only real difference here is that with the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G with the 90Hz refresh rate versus the standard 60Hz with the blue F92 E 5G, the movement on the screen is going to be a bit faster and smoother, so the A13 5G is going to feel a bit more premium, but honestly, this is really not that much of a difference. And in the grand scheme of things, for more basic use, the displays we're getting with both phones are going to be perfectly fine. Now for storage, with the blue F92 E 5G, we're getting 128GB of internal storage with microSD card expansion, and with the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G, we're getting 64GB with microSD card expansion as well. So clearly here, the blue F92 E 5G has a huge advantage, having double the storage of the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G, so if you're someone who's constantly downloading apps and games and stuff like that, and you really need more space, the blue F92 E 5G is definitely going to be a great choice. But that being said, with the Samsung Samsung Galaxy A13 5G, 64GB while not being amazing, is still at least acceptable and for the average user as long as you're mindful of what you're putting on your phone, you should be at least okay here. But again of course, if storage is really a main priority for you, the blue F92 E 5G will be a better choice. For security features, both phones have face unlock, and they also both have fingerprint scanners right here on the power keys. But starting with the blue F92 E 5G, let's go ahead and give them a try. There we go, one more time. And there we go. And now for the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G. There we go, one more time. And there we go. So as you can see there, real fast and responsive, no issues at all. And again, remember, both phones do have face unlock too. So if you wanna use that instead, you always can. Now taking a look at the camera setups here, with the blue F92 E 5G, up front, we got a 13 megapixel selfie camera. Then on the back, we got a triple camera setup with a 50 megapixel main camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera, and a 0.3 megapixel depth sensing camera. With the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G, we got a 5 megapixel selfie camera. Then on the back, we got a triple camera setup with a 50 megapixel main camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera, and a 2 megapixel depth sensing camera. So in general, the camera features are pretty much the same, and I would say when it comes to photo quality, it's pretty similar too. Overall, if you're maybe really into mobile photography, then I'm sure you're gonna wanna spend a bit more and get something higher end that has a better camera setup in general. But for the average user, for more casual stuff like social media, Snapchat, sending pictures to friends and family, and things like that, either phone is gonna be perfectly fine. To give you an idea of what they can do, First, here's some pictures taken with the blue F92 E 5G. Overall, for what it is, considering this phone is less than $150, I definitely think the photo quality is pretty good. Sure, it's not like the best camera ever, but if you put one of these pictures on Instagram, for example, it's probably gonna fit in just fine with everything else on there. It's not like it looks bad or anything, so for more casual use, unless you're really looking for super high quality, the camera we're getting here is good enough for most people. And then here are some pictures taken with the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G. Again, same kind of thing. Kind of debatable which one is better. Honestly, I personally don't think there's really a super big difference between the two. Maybe the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G is a little bit better in the colors and definition and stuff like that. But honestly, at the end of the day, they're so close that I feel like if you're looking for a camera for more basic use, you could really go with either one and get pretty much the same experience. But yeah, in general, if you are looking for a more affordable phone that still does have a pretty good camera, either phone is going to be a great choice. Now when it comes to video, with the blue F92 E 5G, this phone has a max recording quality of 2K in the rear camera and then 1080p in the front. Whereas with the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G, this phone maxes out at 1080p in both the rear and front cameras, so no 2K here. Now honestly, is 2K really that big a deal? I personally don't think so. I never use it myself. But if you do want to record 2K videos, then just keep in mind, the blue F92 E 5G can. Now when it comes to RAM 
Ramen processor, these phones are actually the exact same, both getting 4GB of RAM in the MediaTek Dimensity 700 processor. That being said though, in my experience, the Blue F92 E 5G is actually quite a bit faster. For some reason, the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G, despite having a pretty good processor, is honestly kind of slow in my opinion. Sure, if you're using it for more basic activities, it's going to be just fine, but compared to pretty much every other phone that has this same processor, which is honestly a lot of phones, in my experience, it's just really not as fast. But that being said, for more basic activities, again, like web browsing, social media, watching the occasional video every now and then, and things like that, either phone will get the job done. But if you do want a slightly nicer, smoother experience, you're probably going to like the blue F92 E 5G a bit better. Now I did run benchmark tests on both phones using Geekbench 5 and here are the results I got. So again, as you can see, the blue F92 E 5G does have a significant advantage here. So again, if you want the faster phone between the two, despite them having the same processor, which is kind of weird, the blue F92 E 5G still will be the better choice. But again, despite not really being that fast for a 5G phone, the A13 5G is still at least good enough for more basic activities. So in that kind of situation, you're really not going to go wrong with this phone either. Now for the battery, both phones have 5000 mAh batteries, with the blue F92 E 5G supporting 10 watt fast charging, and the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G supporting 15. Now, the fast charging is really not that much of a difference, technically the A13 5G does have slightly better charging speeds, so if that is really important to you, then maybe keep this in mind, but honestly in my experience, it's really not that much of a difference. But with 5000 mAh batteries, both phones are going to get great battery life, so if that is important to you, which I imagine it is for a lot of people, then either phone will be a great choice. And then of course, when it comes to longevity, phones like these that have 5000 mAh batteries are definitely not going to wear out nearly as quickly as a much smaller battery. So if you like to keep one phone for a longer time without having to replace it, either phone here will be a great choice for that too. Now for the software. The Samsung Galaxy A13 5G does have Android 13, whereas unfortunately, the Blue F92 E 5G only has Android 12. In addition to this, knowing Samsung software support with the A13 5G, you can also expect to get several other major updates in the future, whereas with the Blue F92 E 5G, I'm not expecting this phone to even get Android 13. I mean, I guess it could, but knowing Blue, I seriously doubt it. So in general, if the software is more important to you, then I would definitely go with the Samsung, but otherwise, with the Blue F92 E 5G, I guess Android 12 really isn't that bad, considering in this price range, most non-Samsung phones still have it too, so it is something that a lot of people can probably live with. Another thing to keep in mind is that with the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G, this phone does have NFC, so you can use tap and pay with it, whereas unfortunately, the Blue F92 E 5G does not have NFC, so with this phone you can't use tap and pay. So if you do like that feature, definitely keep that in mind as well. But in conclusion, which of these phones is better? On one hand, in the grand scheme of things, I feel like these phones are almost interchangeable. I mean, they're both essentially going to do the same kind of thing, and they're really at the same level. So if you're looking for a super affordable 5G phone for really basic activities like light web browsing, social media, maybe taking a few nice photos here and there, and you're really not going to be on your phone a ton. In that kind of situation, either phone is going to get the job done just fine. But between the two, each phone does have a few different advantages. With the Blue F92 E 5G, this phone has quite a bit more storage. And again, the performance is a bit better too. Whereas with the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G, this phone does have NFC, so you can use tap and pay with it. And I feel like that is definitely a significant thing to think about, especially in this day and age in 2023, with tap and pay becoming so much more popular and widely used. So definitely a feature that I personally wouldn't want to miss out on. And then the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G also has much better software support. But again, at the end of the day, despite these differences, if you are looking for a really affordable 5G phone for more basic activities, either device will be a great choice. But this concludes my comparison between the Blue F92 E 5G and the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G. Again, if you want to learn more about either phone individually, definitely check out the description where I am linking to several other videos about them, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipas Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next video.